For our DIY project, these are the things you're going to need. Some fun fur, some gemstones, felt, in whichever color you would like, a paintbrush, some paint. I'm using this multi-surface satin paint flamingo color. It's acrylic, it's going to dry quickly. Scissors, embroidery needles, embroidery thread, some varnish. You can use any varnish you want. I'm using the Grumbacher gloss medium varnish and a peg doll. And to glue it all together, a hot glue gun. So step one is for me to sew the cape. Now I'm making a troll doll and it's going to have a little jacket on that fits fits here and secures with a little gem put right there and some blanket stitch around the outside. Now felt, I love felt. Uh, felt crafts are so cute. So to make the cape, I just kind of fit it. I don't use a pattern. I just fit it onto the doll like so. There's our jacket. See, I need to just trim that up. And then we'll do blanket stitch around the edges. I'm going to make this bottom rounded. So I'm going to start there. Let's fold it over. on this doll quite nice. This is going to be a pink, pink body. I'm going to leave the wooden face with some eyes and the white, white hair that sticks up from the fun fur. Now I could dye the fun fur. I just um, when I bought where I bought this fun fur, they only had white and the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. And I really want pinks and purples and um, pastel colors. So I just got the white, and I think my troll dolls would just have white hair. I could also have an option of dyeing the fun fur but I've been worried about children. I mean, obviously this is a toy for ages eight and up maybe. Um, it depends on the child, right? Six year old maybe. Because it is going to have this gemstone put here. You know, you can't have a baby sucking on this thing and swallowing the gemstone. Um, an adult would really appreciate this doll the most probably. But. I'm going to use white embroidery thread for contrast with this pink. I could use anything. I could use orange. That would be cool. Which maybe I will. Now let's stick with white. Um, lighter yet, lighter pink. Even bright pink. I'm going to stick to white. Maybe on another doll I'll do some experimental colors. So we're going to do the blanket stitch. In case you've never done it, I will show you how it's done. It is not hard at all. There we go. 
and let's pull out, I guess, I don't like getting my thread too long, it starts to get messed up. So I will have several starts on this, so I'm not going to have enough thread to go all the way around. That's just my way of doing it, because I do find it gets tangled and knotted on me if I have too long of a thread. So not the end of your embroidery thread. Okay, now we'll start right here at the back of the cape because this is a spot that won't be seen. Go through from, this is the dolls here. So actually it's gonna be folded over. So it's the total opposite of my logic. It's going to be folded over. So this is the side that won't be seen because the doll is here and that's the folded over collar. Now you have to decide how big and prominent you want your blanket stitch to be. I want it to be there about half a centimeter quarter of an inch. Now I went through, so here's the back with the knot. Now come over and come right back through at that hole. Don't worry about how ugly that is because it's going to be hidden. So I'm right back in the same hole. So for beginners you can just fast forward through this, but if you're not a beginner I will just show you how I do this. Now I should not have... Yeah, so the first time I go all the way through she said, <laughs> I never really remember myself what I'm doing. The second time, so I went out just, I did one simple loop back around and I'm back where I started. Now the second time, I'm going to move this way with my stitching. I come over. Now this is another decision is how far apart your stitches are. Because for this to look super cute, you want to be consistent. So you can see my distance there and my distance there. I need to always keep the same. So now pull through. Don't tighten it. Leave it loose on top there. Now take your thread and go and catch it there and pull. Pull through. Don't tighten all the way. Get your needle in there and then pull. Now it's going to pull a design here where the thread starts to go along the top. And that's what we want because it starts to look super cute. It's really intended to, to sew two layers together, but it also works as a decorative stitch like this. And it's fast. It doesn't take too long. So just a few minutes to make your project look just a little bit cuter. Now I'll fast forward for you. You don't have to, because I admit this is tedious and lengthy and must be getting boring. So I'll meet you up later when I get back here. to move on to the next step. We're going to paint the body and leave the head the wood color. So it's pretty easy. I'll probably give this two coats of this pink. I'm leaving the bottom unpainted. 